So I set up my first AliExpress dropshipping store about five weeks ago today. And in that time, I've made quite a lot of mistakes that I've learned lessons from. The dropshipping store that I made, DetoxWaterInfusers.com, was the first attempt that I ever had at dropshipping. And I've identified seven big mistakes I've made since I started that site that I'm going to share with you over the next seven days. Okay, so this mistake I made with my dropshipping site that I was using AliExpress to supply from relates to site security. So basically, if you use a, um, a template dropshipping site to make your store, so you know, Shopify, there are other ones, but I can't think of what they are. They're gonna have things built into them like security, privacy policies, that stuff. But when I made my site, I used WordPress and I used a e-commerce plugin called WooCommerce which basically gave me a ton of freedom. Uh, I could really go in and change the code and make myself discoverable on search engines and stuff. But it didn't have um, a lot of the domain authority or the security that um, sites, templates and platforms such as Spot Shopify have. So the problem I had here was SSL certificates. Now an SSL certificate is a security that's built into your server that basically guarantees customers that you're a trustworthy, secured merchant that they're buying from. So when I bought my hosting, I bought my hosting through a uh, hosting company called Bluehost that specialise in hosting for um, WordPress and WooCommerce websites. I bought my Bluehost package, really low cost, bought the 12 months, and it was only when I came to plug in a payment gateway. So something in your site that reads your customer's credit card details to, to take payment from your customer. It was only when I tried to install that plugin to take payments from the customer that I realized that because I hadn't purchased an SSL certificate when I bought my Bluehost hosting, I wasn't able to install a payment gateway. So in effect, I wasn't able to take payments from customers on my sites. Big problem. How am I going to sign anything and make money without being able to do that? So if you buy a from you know a uh, dropshipping platform website through Shopify or other dropshipping platforms, the SSL side of things, all that security stuff is already taken care of. You just buy the platform, put your products on there, and you're you're good to go. The payment platform and all that part is covered. To buy an SSL certificate, I think it would have cost me like two hundred dollars to install that on top of the hosting I'd already paid for onto my server, which is an outrageous cost, especially for my first ever dropshipping site that I was just using to test the water. So yeah, in the future, if you're gonna set up a dropshipping site and you decide not to use a platform such as Shopify, you wanna do it on your own, make sure you factor in costs such as SSL, certificate installation onto your server, when you're doing your profit forecasts, you know, and you're working at how many items you need to sell to get to your target, because that was a hidden cost that I didn't notice, and it really made a big impact and a big dent into whether I felt like I was gonna carry on with the site or not. So that's a big mistake that I made, and a lesson that I learned from in my first attempt at doing dropshipping while using AliExpress as the supplier of the product. Like I said, I made seven big mistakes with my first ever dropshipping product, which I'm going to be talking about over the next seven videos that I release over the next seven days. My channel starts starting up, usually releases one video a week. And through the channel, I talk about how I'm trying exploring modern opportunities and trying to learn modern skills to try and redesign my life and achieve a modern type of success. Dropshipping is just one thing that I'm doing. I'm doing a ton of other things. If that sounds of interest to you, I release a video every Thursday. Start asking up as the channel name. Uh, make sure you subscribe. I hope you enjoy this seven episode series. And if you subscribe, I'll see you next Thursday. See ya.